Guys, I am making this video specifically as an addition to the last video that I made talking about the XH2S and how I found that it has a second dual native ISO now set at 4000. This whole entire time I've had my camera for now well over two years. And this whole entire time, every time I shot in F-Log2, I was always told to set it to 1250 or 3200. I mean, yes, you can go, you know, a bit higher than that and clean up in post. That's totally fine. But 3200 is where the F-Log2 is supposed to clear up really well. And, and of course it did. Absolutely. So can you imagine my surprise when I put my X-H2S next to my FX3 to test the, you know, high ISO, you know, low light performance. And I'm looking at the footage and I see that now the ISO clears up at 4,000. I knew right away that I had to share this information. I just had to get it out there because this is a big deal. I mean, going from 3,200 to 4,000 is, is a big increase in ISO. So then when I posted the video, a lot of people were telling me, well, I can't really duplicate this. But I also had people telling me, yes, my X-H2S performs just like yours. You know, at 4,000 ISO, my uh, X-H2S clears up. I've had some people tell me, hey, I have an X-T4, I have, you know, an X-S20 or whatever. Now, the thing is, I don't know if those cameras will switch at 4,000 ISO. But what I do know is that my X-H2S does it. I mean, it is very clear. You can see it in the footage. And just so I can confirm this again, I redid the test all over again just because I thought, hey, you know what? Maybe I'm not labeling this properly. You know how when I went into DaVinci Resolve, I'm looking, I'm, I'm you know, listening to the clicks of the ISO dial. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe it is something that I missed. But then every time I looked at the footage, I, I it was totally correct. At 4,000 ISO is when you see this, the change happen. So then the other night, I went out again. And this time, I, I took my camera out. I had something set in place just like I did last time. And this time, I actually said out loud what ISO setting I'm at. Just so when I watch back the footage, I know I am not wrong and I know I'm not, you know, tripping here. F-Log 2C 4K 30 frames per second, 1,250, 1,600, 2,000, 2,500, 3,200, 4,000, 3,200, 4,000, 3,200, 4,000. But guys, I want to tell you that I have found something that's even more interesting than the second native ISO. Now, as you can see here, I'm going up the ISO range starting at 1,250. Now, I shot all of this footage in 4K 29.97 frames per second in F-Log 2C, but F-Log 2 performs the same exact way. And I'm going up the ISO range. Once I hit 4,000, you can clearly see that, you know, the image clears up very nicely. But then when I go back to 3,200, it doesn't look like it's degrading much. But then when I go back to 4,000, it doesn't look like it's improving dramatically. So I don't know what the camera is doing. And n like none of us know. Unless you're a Fuji engineer and you have, you know, hands-on, you know, knowledge of how, you know, what's the internals of this and, you know, how this image is being processed. You have no idea. This is all speculation. I'm calling it dual native ISO because that's like, that's the only thing that I can label it as. You know, I've had people, you know, tell me, oh, no, no, it's dual gain ISO. Guys, you don't know either. <laughs> so whether it's dual native or dual ISO or uh, dual gain or whatever, n none of us know. We can call it whatever we want. I all I know is that at 1250 and 4000, the image clears up. So guys, I intentionally rendered this video in the highest quality that I possibly could because I noticed that in the FX3 um, and the XH2S comparison video, um, I didn't really export in like a really super duper high uh, bit rate. 
So that's why when you see the ISO ranges change, you see like this pixelation in the shadows. It's because there's not enough data in, in the footage. So this time I went and just, you know, cranked that up dramatically. So hopefully when you see the footage, it looks good on your monitor. I highly recommend that you watch this footage on a larger monitor, maybe a TV even, and you will see that at 4,000, the image clears up. So guys, that is it for me today. Thank you again for watching and I hope this cleared some things up. If you have any questions, if you wanna discuss this with me, please leave that in the comment section below because I love to discuss this. I find this extremely interesting. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed already, I would greatly appreciate it if you do because you know there's other people that might wanna see this uh, video and there's other people that might wanna see my little channel and I highly, highly appreciate it. It means the world to me. So guys, thank you so much again for watching and I will see you on the next one.